From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Your Haunted Lives – True Tales of the Paranormal by G. Michael Vasey, a collection of creepy, often downright chilling true experiences of the strange and weird that will keep you looking over your shoulder. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Following an interview by conspiracy theorist Alex Jones with activist and alleged former CIA clandestine services case officer Robert David Steele, NASA was forced over the holiday weekend to announce that it is not running a child slave colony on Mars. And thank goodness that story is not true. Whew. Man, I was worried about poor little Martian children there for a second. Damon Wayans set off some Twitter fireworks on the 4th of July, calling the day, quote, Happy White People Proud of Their Racist Ancestors Day, unquote. Well, you know, that will help me remember which of the weigh-ins is not the funny one. Don't skip breakfast, double up on it. Download a protein shake an hour after your morning meal, and that could help cut your cravings, according to a study in the journal Appetite. Active men who chugged whey protein, they saw their hunger subside immediately by as much as 65%. And the volume of the shake didn't matter. Those who consumed 20, 40, 60, or 80 grams, they all ate the same number of calories at lunch. So apparently J.R.R. Tolkien, he had it right when it came to the hobbits. I mean, first there's breakfast, and then there's second breakfast. Kathy Griffin was recently interviewed by the Secret Service for over an hour. It would have been only a five-minute meeting, but Kathy couldn't stop telling jokes to the only captive audience she's had in weeks. The manhunt for an escaped prisoner in Germany was brief. The search began when wardens went to check in on an inmate after he failed to show up for breakfast, only to find the bars of his cell window were sawed off and he was gone. The prisoner was found hiding in the prison's attic. So now, isn't this how you ended up in prison to begin with, buddy? Y you didn't think things through. Harold Hager was born on May 17, 1917. During his life, Harold served in the Navy during World War II. Afterward, he spent the next 37 years working at Cumming Glass Works. After his wife passed away in 2010, he couldn't just sit around, so he volunteered with Habitat for Humanity in western New York State. And there, he does everything from sorting screws to testing light fixtures. And for the second year in a row, Harold volunteered more hours than anyone in the organization. At 100 years old! Yeah, suddenly I am not feeling all that prideful about putting my shopping cart back correctly. A naked female motorist led Michigan cops on a 25-mile chase over the weekend. The 48-year-old woman, who is from Georgia, topped speeds of 100 miles an hour as she weaved in and out of traffic on I-75. State troopers ultimately forced the woman's vehicle into a utility pole and a ditch to get her to stop. On the plus side, Guinness World Records just verified she is now the fastest streaker in the world. Police in Minnesota had got the word out Tuesday, don't stop and take selfies with dead bears on the side of the road. The safety reminder was necessary after a dead black bear was lying on the side of a state highway and the authorities received multiple calls of cars stopping along the side of the road to take pictures with the carcass. All right, so you didn't hunt and kill the bear. You didn't hit it with your own car, you, you're just seeing a dead animal on the side of the road, and you think it's the perfect opportunity for a selfie? You deserve to be hit by a passing car. Or attacked by a zombie bear. The British Parliament has relaxed its dress code, making neckties now only optional. The theory is that if a fight breaks out, there will be fewer things that the politicians can use to choke their opponents. A 13-year-old girl told police that her 12-year-old schoolmate first asked her for a Chicken McNugget while inside McDonald's in New York City's Harlem neighborhood recently. Well, when she declined, the boy allegedly followed her to a subway station, whipped out a gun, and held it to her head. Even at gunpoint, the teen refused to hand over even one Chicken McNugget. The NYPD told the Daily News she knocked the gun away from the boy and told him to leave her alone. Police did not recover the gun, but numerous witnesses did report seeing it. The boy was charged as a juvenile with attempted robbery and will be prosecuted in family court. All right, this is quite possibly the most ludicrous story I have ever reported. I mean, refusing to give up a chicken McNugget with a gun held to your head? 
I mean, yeah, if it was a McDonald's french fry, yeah, I could see that, but a McNugget? A woman in China was extremely distraught, so distraught she threatened to jump off a building. She was distraught because she had exceeded her monthly smartphone data limit. Well, fortunately, she didn't jump. She went over her data limit because she had been watching soap operas on her phone, which ate up the data. You know, if anybody on this planet is in need of an intervention, it is this woman. A recent study by Microsoft revealed that the average person's attention span in this wild world of technology and social media is down to eight seconds. A recent study by Microsoft revealed that the average person's attention span in this wild world of technology and social media is down to eight seconds. Never miss a single episode of The Daily Dose of Weird News. Download the free Marlar House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, watch other Marlar House YouTube videos, sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways, purchase Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts or mugs, download audiobooks I've narrated, see my latest blog posts, and more. The Marlar House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. You can download it now by clicking the Mobile App tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com or search for Marlar House in your phone app store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, Please share this video on your own social media – Facebook, Twitter, Reddit – and help spread the weird news. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!